Two injured people were taken to a medical center in Haifa Thursday after Hezbollah struck a site in northern Israel. One person was undergoing surgery and another was in a moderate condition, according to the deputy director of Rambam Medical Center. Hezbollah says it struck a military position in northern Israel as part of its ongoing attacks in support of the Palestinians in Gaza, in an attack that Israeli hospitals said injured 10. The militant group has vowed to continue such operations after several of its members were killed and 1,000s wounded when their personal devices exploded, in what appeared to be a sophisticated attack by Israel. Hezbollah began striking northern Israel shortly after Hamas' October 7 surprise attack ignited the war in Gaza. Hezbollah and Hamas are both close allies of Iran. Israel has responded to the near-daily fire with escalating strikes of its own and in recent days has warned of a wider military operation. The military said early Thursday that it had struck several militant sites in southern Lebanon overnight. Hospitals in Lebanon were treating injured patients on Wednesday after pagers that were used by hundreds of members of the militant group Hezbollah exploded near simultaneously in Lebanon and Syria. At least nine people were killed and several thousand were wounded, officials said. Hezbollah and the Lebanese government blamed Israel for what appeared to be a sophisticated remote attack. An American official said Israel briefed the United States on Tuesday after the conclusion of the operation, in which small amounts of explosives secreted in the pagers were detonated. The person spoke on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss the information publicly. The Israeli military declined to comment. Among those wounded was Iran's ambassador to Lebanon. The mysterious explosions came amid rising tensions between Israel and Iran-backed Hezbollah, which have exchanged fire across the Israel-Lebanon border since the October 7 attack by Hamas that sparked the war in Gaza. The pagers that blew up were apparently acquired by Hezbollah after the group's leader ordered members in February to stop using cell phones, warning they could be tracked by Israeli intelligence. A Hezbollah official told the Associated Press the pagers were a new brand, but declined to say how long they had been in use. Taiwanese company Gold Apollo said Wednesday that it authorized its brand on the AR-924 pagers used by the Hezbollah militant group, but the devices were produced and sold by a company called BAC. At about 3.30 p.m. local time on Tuesday, as people shopped for groceries, sat in cafes or drove cars and motorcycles in the afternoon traffic, the pagers in their hands or pockets started heating up and then exploding, leaving blood-splattered scenes and panicking bystanders. It appeared that many of those hit were members of Hezbollah, but it was not immediately clear if non-Hezbollah members also carried any of the exploding pagers.